you'll have to have a GoDaddy account. If you don't have one set up, you'll have to create a new account. You'll have to put in your charge card information so they have it on file so they can bill you when you purchase a domain. Another trick here I, I found was one day I went to GoDaddy after signing in and I started searching for domains. I found this guy here, yourfreebanner.com, but I didn't buy it. I wanted to think about it a day or so. So I just closed out of GoDaddy and the next day I got an email from GoDaddy saying, hey, we'll give you a 20% discount on your domain name. If I go over here and check on my email, I got this email from GoDaddy, say 20% on your freebanner.com today. So I clicked on that, scroll down, and they give you a, a promotion code here that you can use on checkout and supposedly you'll get a 20% discount. So this may be something you want to try to do if you want to get a discount. These kind of discounts come and go on a daily basis, so I don't know if it'll be available when you guys want to try to use it, but it's something that you could try. All right, so I'm logged into my GoDaddy account, and I typed in yourfreebanner.com. I'm going to search again. Okay, and it says, yes, your domain is available. Buy it before someone else does. So I will select it. All right, so I selected yourfreebanner.com and I will click on continue to cart and then GoDaddy will try to upsell you on all this stuff here. The website builder, I don't need that because the landing page tool that you have is basically your website builder and it's being hosted at Local Marketing Genius so you don't need a hosting, you don't need Linux web hosting, maybe you want an email address, Maybe not, I, I don't want one in my case. So I'm gonna click on continue. All right, so then they're trying to upsell me on a professional email. I'm gonna pass on that. So I'll click on continue to cart. Make sure this is the domain you want. In my case, it's yourfreebanner.com. And they automatically select you for two years, but you have the option to go back to one year if you want. I'm gonna leave it at two years because I'm gonna try to use my 20% discount that was sent to me in my email. So it says here, have a promotional code. I'm gonna click on add. So right now we pay attention to 1634 for two years. So I'm gonna click on add. So I went back to my email account and I grabbed the 20% discount code out of my email and I'll put that in here. Click on apply. Okay, so I put my promotion code in here and it took it, but it looked like it didn't do much of anything with it. So we'll see if somewhere down the line here, it gives it to us. Scroll down. Click on proceed to checkout, double check your billing information, credit card information, click on I agree to the following, click on place your order. That says your order has been submitted. I'm going to print my receipt, select my latest order, click on view, All right, I can close this. Okay, so we have just purchased the domain yourfreebanner.com. So now we need to set up the white labeling forward and masking domain so that it points back to our local marketing genius landing page hosting site. Come up here and click on my products and you'll see domains here. Click on manage and you'll see here it says yourfreebanner.com is almost ready for you. So they're still processing the setup of this domain. So I'll have to keep refreshing this page and, until this comes back and says it's ready or available. So I'm gonna stop the video and I'll come back when this is ready. All right, so after refreshing our page on GoDaddy, it now says that yourfreebanner.com domain is just sitting there, put it to work. All right, so let's link this guy to Local Marketing Genius. Click on the gear, click on Manage DNS, and then you'll come into the DNS management page. Scroll down here for your records. And the only two lines that you need to be concerned about is the C name here, which is with www, and the A type up here. By default, the C name is all set up for us. We shouldn't have to do anything with it. Should It should say under type C name, under name it should say www, and under value, it should have the at sign. And what this will do then is when somebody types in www.yourdomainname.com, it'll go to this at sign. This at sign is linked up here with this IP address. 
And so what you need to do is change this IP address and point it to the local marketing genius IP address, which I've already done. So this is the local genius IP address. But to do that, you just click on this edit pencil here, copy and paste in your IP address here from local marketing genius. And you can leave this stuff as a default and just click on save. Okay, so this change I made of adding in the IP address here can take up to 24 hours to propagate that DNS information over the internet. So be patient, don't get too excited. So allow a day or two and then go in and type in your www.domain name that you purchased.com and see if it points to your landing page of Local Marketing Genius, and it should. Okay, so basically that's how you would forward your domain name to the local marketing genius hosting site. All right, so let's just test our domain and see what happens. So we'll come up here and we'll put in yourfreebanner.com and we got the dreaded 404 error. But as you can see, it does have the Ad Kahuna icon up here. So it is making some kind of a connection. So when you get the 404 error, there's usually one of two things wrong. One, you haven't waited long enough for the DNS to propagate completely. And remember, it, it can take up to 24 hours for DNS propagation. Or two, there's no domain set for a home page in your landing page application that you set up for your white label. So you could check your application to make sure that you have a home page set for a landing page. In my case, I'm pretty sure I did. So I think I just haven't waited long enough. So I just need to be more patient, maybe sleep on it and test it in the morning. And then I went to that URL. Awesome, it works. This is cool. This is going to be a good day. All right. So that is all set up and functioning now. All right. So I hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.